Welcome to the Vox Pathfinder 15R channel, and I haven't put any videos up lately, so I just want to put something quick in for your consideration today is this old Hepner 12-inch Alnico speaker. And what I want to do is a short discussion and sh uh, showing of the difference between underdamped outputs and overdamped. And a tube amplifier, the way it's usually set up it is an underdamped configuration tube amplifiers are uh, current amplifiers and the power they put out is proportional to the uh, impedance of the speaker over this uh, awful frequency spectrum uh, it doesn't have to be but on solid states it's usually the reverse usually solid state amps are voltage amplifiers in the power section and that's an overdamped out, uh, speaker output. Uh, the output on a solid state typically imparts a zero impedance to the uh, speaker. The speaker sees a zero impedance load. And it's as if you shorted these two terminals. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you listen to... Uh, to me tapping this speaker the way it is and then I'm going to short the two terminals and we're going to ta tap it again and you will hear the difference in tonality and sustain from something that's 100 percent you know I shouldn't say 100 percent but it's totally underdamped which would be something like a, a Vox amplifier would impart you know other amplifiers like Fender and Marshall, or they're not like over damp by any means, but they because you know they have that presence knob, they have the negative feedback. There is some damping, but nothing like a typical solid state amplifier, which is like 100% over damped, unless the engineers tweak the output section, which isn't common. So right now, these alligator uh, whatever you call these things are is not shorted so I'm just gonna tap and you're gonna listen Okay, maybe you heard something. Hopefully you did. Now I'm going to short the terminals. As you can see, they're shorted. Now listen. I'm going to take away, no, that's not shorted. And then I'm going to short, short the terminals again to mimic zero impedance load that the power section would impart onto a speaker in a solid, typical solid state. Now we move to its natural state. And I think if you heard the difference, 
it's a much looser, uh, you know, more, you know, less controlled tone in the underdamped where the speaker sees an, an impedance load in a, you know, current amplifier versus an overdamped condition like in a typical salt state where it's shorted, where the amplifier is impar imparting a zero impedance load to the speaker from the speaker's point of view. And now, we'll short it again. It's literally like putting the brakes on the speaker. And this does mimic exactly a, a typical salt state amp. Salt states overdamped uh, amplifiers are 100% overdamped. So this is no exaggeration. It would like be taking a speaker and a Vox and, and putting a ton of goop on this treatment to to really break the cone. Again, off. And now it shakes. Alright, that's about it. Hopefully we heard something.